Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to use datum curves in PTC Clio Parametric 3. So you can find the datum curves below this drop down menu, select datum and then go to curve and there are three types of curve. First is curve through points, curve from equation and curve from cross section. In this tutorial we have to cover these three types of curve so let's get started so i have created this basic feature here by extruding a rectangle up to a certain extruded length now what i need to do is go to the point and create the datum point at different vertices so i have created three datum points Go and show point display so you can see that the three datum points are created at the three different vertices of the particular feature now go to datum go to curve and go to curve through points now select first point second point and third point you can see that this curve follows the root of the created points that is the curve is generated from the datum points we have created so this is how you create the datum curve from the points now let's move towards the another curve that is the curve from equation so show all the planes and points and axes for creating curve from equation we need to select a coordinate system now select this coordinate system and first is the Cartesian option go to equation and give a equation let's say x is equals to 4 star cos t star 360 Similarly, give the y coordinates y is equals to 4 star sine bracket t star 360. We are creating here a circle that's why we set value z is equals to 4 and make sure your equations are very verified successfully and ok. Ok and hit ok. So you see that by curve from equation we create a circle by inputting certain parameters similarly by changing the cylindrical and set values r is equals to 4 theta is equals to t star 360 and z is equals to 0 and hit ok and okay so you see that by using the cylindrical coordinates just by changing the input parameters we create the circle also similarly go to spherical coordinates and go to equation in spherical coordinates the radius is known as the row that is v right here rho is equals to 5 that is the radial distance and then theta is the polar angle that is t shift star 180 and the azimuthal angle is phi so t star 360 and shift star 25 now verify the relations and hit ok so you see that by using curve from equation we create first two circles by using the cartesian and polar coordinates and by using spherical coordinates we create this spherical helix now let's move toward the third part that is the curve from the cross section so i have created this base feature by by curve from cross section first we have to create a cross section so go to view or you can create section from here 
planner and hit enter now select any plane you want to create cross section from and close now go to datum go to curve and curve from cross section and select the cross section that you have created and hit ok now you see that a curve id 281 is generated that shows the curve is generated from this cross section so i hope you guys like this tutorial for more epic tutorials on ptc creo parametric 3 subscribe to my channel workal 23 i'll see you next time thank you